What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got a full transferred hybrid squad builder. Now we've got three leagues in here and this is kind of, in my opinion, by far the best team that you can kind of build at the moment with the amount of transfer players that have been released so far. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're gonna be building a pretty sick team. There are a few players that you could kind of add and intertwine into this if you really wanted to make it, you know, different. Um, but yeah. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and build this team and the reason why, just first off straight away, the reason why I'm not using Ibrahimovic in this team is because I've done a similar score build around the Man United Ibrahimovic the other day and it's pointless uploading kind of like the same thing. So hopefully you guys understand but we have got a pretty sick full transferred 3 league hybrid um, for you guys and it's only 40,000 coins or 50,000 coins, can you believe it? No. Um, if you don't have enough coins. By all means, go and check out buyutcoins.com. Link up down in the description below. They're an automated service, guys, so you get your coins instantly. Use J54 at checkout for 10% off your order. It is as simple as that. So, let's go ahead and dive straight into this team. We're going to obviously be using the 4-3-2-1 uh, formation as well, guys. A flipping solid formation to be found in this game. Um, we're going to start with the goalkeeper, and it's not the greatest player in the world. We're kind of struggling at the moment to have some good goalkeepers that have been transferred that we can use in teams. Um, so we're going to be using this guy, Alisson. He's actually transferred to Roma. Um, not quite sure where he played beforehand, but it could be in the Brazilian league. That's just a wild guess. Um, but yeah, he doesn't look all too great, but I'm sure he'll do well in game. The first centre-back dead. We've got another Brazilian, and it is going to be Castan. He's actually stayed in the same league but he has moved from Roma to Sampdoria and um, yeah, I'm not sure whether he's gone on a permanent move or on loan. Um, but yeah, I mean, all we really care about is that he's still in the Serie A and still a solid player in this game. He's actually one of my most favoured players um, on FIFA and well, as in centre-backs. He's not like someone that I'd like, go out of my way to like put into my team, but he's one of the better centre-backs in the Serie A. Um, right back then, I know you all know who we're going to be putting in this position and that is going to be the Juve Dani Alves. For like the past two weeks now, or a week and a half or something, you guys have been saying, Jack, use a, use a Juventus Dani Alves in one of your teams somewhere, please. So finally, here we go. Hopefully you guys are happy. Um, and yeah, then we're going to go ahead and move on to this left-hand side. And we have got the first, well, first centre-back who you guys know I use all the flipping time um, in my 7-minute squad builders and just in squad builders in general. We've got Umtiti uh, who's bagged himself, I think, a 20, 20 million pound move to Barcelona um, from Lyon. Well deserved, you know, uh, he's still very, very young as well. Well, 1993, so what, he's two years older than me and he's flipping playing for Barcelona, mate. That's just, that's goals right there to be fair, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I mean, 74 pace, 80 defending, 79 physical. His card doesn't look that appealing, like the non-rare kind of side of things. If it was a gold rare, that would be absolutely class. But, yeah, stat says it all. He is actually a pretty solid player and only cost about 1,000 coins. Left back then, we've also got another French player, and that is going to be the perfect link for him now, and that is going to be Digne. Ding um, now, this guy's been all over the shop. He's been PSG, he's been Roma, and now he has gone to Barcelona. Hopefully, he can settle in there um, and kind of like, well, at one point, Liverpool were actually going to buy him. And I was going to say, it probably wouldn't have been a bad buy for Liverpool. But um, yeah, now knowing that Barcelona were after him, I don't think uh, I don't think Liverpool would have been able to quite get him. Unless he probably wanted a bit more football than he's probably going to get at Barcelona. I don't know, because obviously Jordi Alba. Yeah, let me know where you, what kind of role you think he's going to be playing at Barcelona. Um, so, moving on to the three centre mids then. The first centre mid, we're going to go for a German guy, and it is also another player which I've been wanting to use for absolutely ages in a team, and that is going to be the Man City Gundogan. Uh, Gund oh my, that is literally the worst pronunciation ever. Gundogan? Gundogan? I don't know how, like, there's two variations that I keep hearing from people. Let me know which one it is. If it's none of them, <laughs> by all means. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, so, yeah, we've got Gundogan in there. 75 pack, you guys know his card. Um, he basically just now has a Man City badge on him, which is pretty cool because it makes building hybrids that much funner. Okay then, moving on to the left-hand side, we have got a French centre mid and it is going to be Leicester City's new signing. Could it be the replacement for Kante? Kante has pretty much, I think it has almost been confirmed, a move to Chelsea and uh, yeah, I mean it's a massive mill for him, a, a, mil, a mil, massive mill for him, a massive move for him, seeing as um, I think a couple of seasons ago what he was playing in the flipping, I don't even know, um, 
like the second French, like the basically like the championship of the French league. Yeah, I mean, what what a couple of seasons he's had. What a couple of seasons he's had. Um, and by all means, fully deserved as well. He's a fantastic player, an absolute workhorse. Um, can run for days as well. And hopefully, for Leicester's sake, this guy can do something similar. I've never seen this guy play in real life. Basically, just he's French. He's pretty much almost the same rating as Kante, and I'm just comparing them because of that. It's as simple as that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully Mendy can do well. I think he's going to be a pretty decent player, though, uh, for our midfield. Then we have got Marco Marion. Now, um, yeah, this guy isn't one of the, the highlights of the team, by all means, but it is you know, a player which kind of needs to be in here for chemistry reasons. There's, there's no doubt about it. So, um, yeah, we've got Marco Marion. Not too sure how he's going to play. He's a bit more of an attacking player than either Gundogan or Mendy. Um, so maybe that will kind of help us and, you know, add to our attack. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not too sure how well he's going to play. He's got four so weak for four so skill moves. That's all I really know about him. So fingers crossed he can do well. He'll probably go out on loan again next season for Chelsea. Um, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and move on to the left forward, um, first of all. Let's go ahead and move on to the left forward. So we have got Nolito. What a season this guy had uh, last season. Not really the most appealing FIFA card in the world. I've always thought, thought this. He's never been a player which kind of jumps out the screen at me and says, Jack, can go ahead and use him. But yeah, we've kind of um, we've, we've grabbed hold of him today and hopefully he's going to do the deed for us. Hopefully he's going to do pretty well. Uh, he's not, the, like I said, the paces of players, but he does have decent dribbling and a decent shot as well. So that's going to be interesting. You can kind of cut in on, on, the, on his right foot. Um, so that should be a great asset. Right forward then, we have got a Colombian that has returned from Juventus. I'm not too sure whether he's going to be staying at Chelsea or whether he's going to be going back to Juventus if they choose to buy him or whatever. Um, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I mean, I think he did all right at Juventus. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I mean... <sighs> He, he is, Quadrado is like one of my most favourite players on this game by far. You'll see me using him loads in the game at the end. So, yeah, I'm sure he's going to do pretty well. And then up top, we have got his new teammate. Um, and that is going to be the Belgium Batshuayi. Um, Batshuayi? I think that's how you pronounce it. Batshuayi? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I literally don't know. I guess that's probably how you pronounce his name. But... Apparently this guy is the next big thing, so it's going to be interesting to see how well he's going to do on FIFA and um, it may, may give us a slight bit of a reflection of what he could be like next year as well on this game. Do you reckon he'll have a higher rating or not? He did have a pretty decent season in, in Ligue 1, um, so yeah, you know, potentially he could get like an 80, 81 rating card, but... We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this hybrid. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I've tried to include as many of the big name players in here as possible. Uh, you know, if Benassia had been in, then I would have been able to put Pjanic at the right centre mid spot and we would have had kind of almost like a no lince wasted team, which would have been pretty cool. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, there's no Juve Benassia yet, so I wasn't able to do anything with him. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and dive into a game now. Let me know what you think of this team in the comment section below. I think it's going to play well. Let's do this. Okay, then here is our opponent and he has got a bit of a hybrid himself. There's only two leagues, but he has got some pretty strong players. He's got a full Juventus defence along a goalkeeper. And he's got a kind of like a Chelsea and City uh, midfield and attack. He's got Yaya Toure, De Bruyne in there, Oscar, Willian, Costa, and I think Eden Hazard as well at the left wing or left forward spot. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a pretty big test, to be fair, for us. Um, yeah, this guy's got a very, very nice team indeed. Lovely ball, look at that. Play it inside now. And again... Marco Marin, first time. Oh my god, he smashed the bloody crossbar. Did not expect that from Marco Marin. Yes, look at that then. Go on, Quadrado. Here we are. Go on. Love that. Nelito. Go on, get the cross in now. That's a goal. Yes, Batshuayi has opened up the scoring. Nelito with a lovely bit of play. Doing the defender over, getting to the byline, crossing it in, and Batshuayi is there just to nod it in. Lovely little ball in as well, and Batshuayi just beats whoever that was in the air. Um, lovely, lovely stuff. Literally, that was class. No! How is there all that space in the middle? How is that even possible? That's ridiculous. There's a massive gap in the middle of my defence for no reason whatsoever. I don't know. I, I literally don't know why. Look at this. Umtiti comes across. Why is he coming across? 
Digne is covering Eden Hazard. I don't understand. That is just stupid. That is literally stupid. Oh god, no! This is actually a joke. Literally a joke. On the stroke of half time as well. That's so unlucky, first of all, to concede that goal. But anyway, right, we'll move on. We're gonna we're gonna win this game anyway. I don't I don't care. For God's sake, I'm just giving it back to Oscar. Here we are. Go on. Oh, what a ball. Get the cross in. Back post. That is probably, I'm not just saying that, one of the best worked goals I've ever done on FIFA. I don't know why. It just, that felt so satisfying. Literally so satisfying. I think it was because of the original ball. I don't know who it was from. But Gundogan has brought us back on level terms with our opponent. Let's just keep this now and try and um, grab a second flipping goal. We, I mean, a third goal. Because we want to we wanna win this game, don't we? We want to win this game. Go on. Get there now. Oh, oh, here we go. Go on, Mendy. Go on. That's the ball. Gundogan, finish now. There we go. It is flipping 3-2. Gundogan with his second goal. I'm pretty sure I've called him Gundogan and also Gundogan. Um, but yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to call him Gundogan, whatever. But he has scored their second goal. Can we bag him a hat-trick? But more importantly, can we keep this lead? That's really what I'd like to do. Go on, Mendy. That is brilliant. Get the cross in. Early cross in. Oh, go on, Batshuayi, and it's turned into an own goal. I don't know who's been actually given that goal. I think it is actually Batshuayi, even though it wasn't on target. That shouldn't have actually been his goal, but it's gone down as his goal. I don't think it will go down. It should set. All right, fair enough, Batshuayi. He's been given the credit. By all means, take it, mate. Run away with it, because, um, yeah, it should not be your goal at all. <laughs> that That is the end of the game. So... There we go, we have won the game 4-2. I can assure you, this team is absolutely sick. I promise you now, if you build this team, you will win games. Um, Batshuayi, Quadrado, Gundogan, Nolito, the four standout players. Marin as well, even though his rating isn't as good as what, you know, how, how his actual performance reflected. Um, Umtiti, fantastic. Digne, fantastic. Danny Alves, obviously fantastic. Castan, a little bit ropey at some points. Mendy, though, as well. Unbelievable, was literally like the Kante of the team, which is obviously fantastic. So, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, then please be sure to drop a like, that would be amazing. Subscribe if you're new around here. And until then, I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Set my heart